In this video, I'm going to show you a few things to help you get started exploring Real Studio on your own. I'm doing this demonstration on a Mac, but the experience would be exactly the same on Windows or Linux. When you launch Real Studio, you're presented with a new project, which holds all the things that make up the application you wish to create. A project includes windows, menus, but might also include pictures, sounds, and movies as well. Because Windows are such an important part of your application's user interface, I'm going to focus on that. A new project starts with one window open in the Window Editor. On the left is a long list of controls you can use to build your user interface. On the right is the list of the Windows properties. For example, you can use the Properties pane to choose the type of window, change its title, etc. In this demonstration, I'm going to build a simple web browser so I'm going to change the title of the window to Browser. I want the window to automatically open in the middle of the main screen, so I'm going to change the placement to Main Screen. First, the user needs a place to type in the web address. I'll add a text field to the window by double-clicking on it. You can drag it to the window as well. Next, I need a push button the user can click to go to the web address they entered. I'm going to change the caption of the button to Go and make it a default button, and we're going to position it in the upper right corner. The text field is not long enough, so I'm going to resize it. I need a control to display the web page itself, so I'll add an HTML viewer to the page and resize it. Now, even though I haven't written any code, I can still try out my application at any time by clicking the Run button in the toolbar. Two things I just noticed. First, it would be nice if the text field had HTTP colon slash slash filled by default. Second, the controls don't move or resize when I resize the window. Let's go back and make those two changes. I'll select the text field and change its text property to HTTP colon Slash, slash. I want the push button to stay in the upper right corner of the window, so I'm going to lock it to the top and right. I want the text field to stay in the upper left corner, so I'm going to lock it to the left and top. But I also want its right side to stretch with the window, so I'm going to lock it to the right as well. Finally, I want the HTML viewer to resize in all directions, so I'm going to lock it on all sides. Now I can resize the window right here in the editor and see that it behaves the way I want. The last step is to make it display the web page the user enters. I'm going to do this by telling the push button that when it's clicked, it should tell the HTML viewer to load the web page the user entered. Since the code is going to start when the user clicks on the push button, I'm going to add the code to it. To do that, I'll double click it. Now we are looking at the code for the window. And you can see the push button, HTML viewer, and text field controls I added to the window. Since I double clicked on the push button, it's expanded to show its events. Events are things that happen to the control, like the user clicking, typing, dragging, etc. The action event of the push button is already selected, and it's the event that occurs when the user clicks on the button. Now I can enter the action event code I want in the edit pane. When the user clicks the push button, I want the HTML viewer to load the URL from the text field field. In object-oriented programming, you often start off with the name of the object. So I'll type HTML viewer1. Notice that as I type, Real Studio tries to guess what I want. When it guesses correctly, I can just press the Tab key to let Real Studio autocomplete what I'm typing. The HTML viewer control has a command called load URL, which will display the web URL or address you pass it. To call this command, I'll add a dot followed by the command name. Again, as I type, Real Studio tries to guess what I'm typing, and when it does, I can just press the Tab key. Commands in Real Studio are called methods. If you need to know more about what a particular method or control can do, just select it 
and choose Help from the contextual menu. This displays the language reference. The HTML viewer's load URL method requires a URL as a string. In this case, a string means a string of characters. The string of characters is stored in the text field. The text field has a property called text, which as you can imagine, stores the text from the text field. I modified that property earlier to make it default to http colon slash slash. You can access a property in the same way you call a method. Just type the name of the control, dot, and the name of the property. So I'll just type text field one dot text. Let's give our browser a try by clicking the run button. And there it is. I'll enter a web address and click the go button. When I'm ready to build a standalone version of my app that I can give to others, I just click the build button in the toolbar. And if you have the professional edition, choose build settings from the project menu to choose other platforms you want to build for. Without changing my project at all, I created a Windows version with just a click of the mouse. And here's the browser on Linux. Linux controls sometimes need to be taller, but making adjustments for a specific operating system is easy and requires no additional programming. This should give you enough to get started exploring on your own. There are lots of ways to learn more about programming and Real Studio. Check out the Getting Started page and the tutorial. You can find them on the Help menu. Take a look through the user's guide and the language reference as well. We also have a very active user community, which you can learn from via our online forum and mailing lists. So there are many ways to learn more about Real Studio. Make sure you explore our website too. It's got lots of good information. If you're ready to start experimenting, download the trial edition, which will give you 30 days to explore Real Studio. Remember that we have a 90-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it for an additional 90 days after you purchase it with no risk at all. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy Real Studio.